here with another knife review. I'll set this aside for a moment and talk about this. The Dirt Bombs, Ultra Glide in Black. Great record, great band. I've seen them a few times. Fun show. This record's mostly covers. I think there's only one song actually by the band, but let's take a look at the vinyl. There you go, you got that. You got like a information sheet here. There's the vinyl. Um, Dirt Bombs, yeah, I think it's, they got, they're doing covers by people like Marvin Gaye, Curtis Mayfield. I think, the, I think there's only one song written by Collins, which is the main vocalist, guitar player. Um, but a great record, great choice of songs, really great artwork as well. Love that. And they do Kung Fu, great song. Cool picture of them on the back. All right, the dirt bombs. Moving along. All right, tonight I'm just drinking this. I grabbed it from the fridge. It was lips in there. Just getting cupcake stuff again. Um, turn this down a little. Yeah, it's a good Sauvignon Blanc. Basic wine, nothing too expensive, just stuff. Whatever, I'm not going to stay on this too long. It's just a little glass of wine. All right, moving along. I got this right here. It's the Best Tech Hornet. In Japan, their nests are hunted for trophies. The hornets themselves are eaten fried or steamed and even drowned in alcohol. Consuming them is said to elicit a tingly warm sensation and increase virility. I really like this knife. I got it because I wanted something like this that I could just beat around and use at work. And this thing was just cool. I love all this jimping that it's got going on around. All back here, I like this blue spacer. The ergonomics on this feel really good. G10 handles, get some light on that. And you can flick it open like that. And it's got that sheep's foot blade. But it's also a flipper that you can flip right here. One thing I've noticed about this is, and maybe it's just, I'm getting more used to it, but this liner lock is kind of rough on your fingers. The flipper tab is the only thing that doesn't have jimping, so it's a little slippery, but since it opens so easily, sometimes faster or slower. I mean, I think it could, might as well put a couple little pieces of jimping right there. Opens up good. Man, you know, this thing I use for cardboard and I just been tearing apart a bunch of cardboard. I've had it for a couple weeks now and I've just been testing it out breaking down boxes and a bunch of different things and this thing is just you grip it feels good and it just burns through cardboard maybe i put my finger up there but if you wanted to you could but basically it just cuts right through things sharp blade d2 steel on that blade and I really like this knife, I really do. For the price, I mean, it's not a crazy expensive knife. It's totally affordable and rugged as heck, and it looks really cool. I'm not big on like sci-fi kind of looking knives and stuff like that, but this one just looks like, looks like some sort of pit bull. A bulldog more than a hornet. Lanyard hole is right there. And that's one thing that's kind of weird is it's separated there. It just doesn't look finished as much there, but whatever, it's not bad either. I believe it runs on bearing washers and it feels really good when it opens. Big snap to it when you do it like that. When you do this, Right open, Let's see the blade plate. I feel a little sideways there, but nothing up and down. I mean, this thing is built like a tank. Curious to take it apart sometime because it feels like when I open it a little there, it's a little shaky before it hits the lock. 
but then it's in there good. The blade thickness is 0.13, flat blade grind, satin finish. I liked the black version. They have like a striped reddish one, a striped greenish yellowy one. And the black just looked nice with the accent of this blue right there. I didn't much care for the other ones. They made it look more toyish and this just kept it looking. It was already like extreme in other ways. I didn't need it to go all out and I thought this just looked a lot better. Pocket clip, it's been working all week. It doesn't feel bad. It's a tip up carry and about that much of it shows out. It's made in China. All right, let's take a look at some measurements here. Overall length is eight inches. Blade length is 350. Cutting edge is 2.875. The handle length is four and a half. All right, let's take a look at it up against some other knives. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. See, it's a big knife here. Because Spyderco Paramilitary 2 is pretty big, handle-wise. Let's take a look at the Benchmade 940. Pretty close right there. And we can look at like a uh, Protec Malibu to see something smaller. And that kind of gives you a good idea right there. All right, let's put these away. Not sure why they call it the Hornet. Cartoonishly fierce with large teardrop shaped eyes. I read something about the fearlessness of a hornet. It's the largest hornet in the world. The female worker hornets can grow to about an inch and a half long. Looks more like a rhinoceros. Or a pit bull, more than a hornet. But cool, it's called the hornet and I like it. Insects should probably be more afraid of humans. Let's see how sharp it is. All right, this is after a couple weeks of working with it. All right, not terribly sharp, not terribly dull. I probably just need to touch it up a bit. I mean, I really have been using it all week and I didn't do much. I did wipe it down right before, but I didn't sharpen anything yet. And you can, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little scratched up already. Let's get this out of the way. Like I said, I've been working with this all week. And the feel is really good when I open it and I'm getting more used to deploying it and using it. It opens really nicely. Even the flipper tab is fine. The sound is amazing. And it's become part of my EDC because of what I'm doing right now and just how I use it. So I'm carrying this in my lineup. The edge is decent. D2 steel is good. Lock type is solid and good. The deploy is good. Let's look at the centering. So, yeah, it's off. I probably need to mess with this a little bit, but I don't know if you can see, but that's off. And I'm pushing out on a little. So I haven't really done anything to this. Took it out of the box, used it for two weeks. And when I took it out, it was straight because I checked it. But since I've been using it and I didn't check it right before the video or adjust it, it's kind of heavy, 5.48 ounces. I've been having this in my pocket and it's a little bit bigger and heavier than what I'm used to. And I don't like a really light knife because it's just kind of not even there, but this thing's pretty darn heavy. Maybe they could have taken out some more metal in there of the frame. It looks like they did take out a little. Then again, it is a big knife so it's gonna weigh something. It's not bad at all. 
It's mostly when I'm wearing shorts, then I kind of feel it more. When I'm wearing my jeans and I have a belt on, it's just, it doesn't like pull in any weird way. Um, in my pocket actually it is fine. You know, I wear it in my pocket and I put other things in that pocket too, and it doesn't get in the way because you're kind of, you know, again, it is a bigger knife, but for a bigger knife, it's not bad. All right, Best Tech Hornet. And in the future, they may re-release Hornets with the radio frequency identification tags. Cool knife, I like the way it looks. All the jimping and different things going on. Feels good in my hand. Tastes good with this wine. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate the views and the comments and the conversation I've been having with people about knives. Looking forward to some more here. Got some cool things coming and I wanted to get this out of the way. Damn right I got knives, signing out. Adios amigos.